Hi, this video focuses on unit conversions where there are squares or cubes involved. This is an actual problem a friend of mine had. A friend of mine was going to put a hot tub on her deck, and she had to know how much the water would weigh. And she knew that the density of water was one gram per cubic centimeter. I'll write that on the board in a bit. And she wanted to know the hot tub had a volume of around one cubic meter, and she needed to know how much the water weighed. So she had to do fence posting. And to do that, we have to know how to convert with cubes. So I'm going to give you two simple ones. One square meter equals how many square centimeters? One square meter equals how many square centimeters? And the way to do this is one meter equals 100 centimeters. Now let's square both sides. Square everything. Not just the one, but the one meter. Square the whole thing. Square the whole hundred centimeters. Squaring both sides. And when you square things in a parentheses, everything inside the parentheses gets squared. So that's one squared meter squared equals 100 squared centimeter squared. Or one square meter, 100 squared is 10,000, equals 10,000 square centimeters. One way to see this is to draw a square. And let's pretend that square had uh, a length of one meter on both sides. This actual square is smaller than that. But let's pretend this is one meter and this is one meter. The area of this square, length times width, is one square meter. The area is one square meter. We could also say that the sides are 100 centimeters long. So the area in centimeters, length times width, is 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So the area is also 10,000 square centimeters, which is what we had here. So whenever you're doing a, a unit conversion where something's squared, just do the, do the conversion for non-squared and then square both sides. It works the same way with cubed. Let's say we want to convert cubic meters, say one cubic meter equals how many cubic centimeters? It's done the exact same way. So you write out one meter equals 100 centimeters, and then just cube both sides. One meter cubed equals 100 centimeters cubed. Cube everything inside the parentheses. One cubed meter cubed equals 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So you get 1 cubic meter. 100 cubed is 100 times 100 times 100. That's six zeros, or 1 million cubic centimeters. You could also write that as 1 times 10 to the sixth cubic centimeters. And just to show you how it works with uh, cubes too, let's draw not a square, but a cube. Cube, same idea as before, cube, cube, cube. And let's say that every side is a meter long. One meter, meter, one meter. The volume of a rectangular shape like that is length times width times height, or whatever you're calling height times width times, whatever you're calling those three dimensions. The volume of this cube equals one times one times one, or one cubic meter. And you can see what I'm about to do. Let's make the sides 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters. The volume is 100 times 100 times 100, which is 1 million or 1 times 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters, which is just what we got here. OK, now that we've done that, let's find the weight of 1 cubic meter of water. Sorry, I'm back. A cubic meter is, this is a uh, cylinder, but a cubic meter is, uh, the volume of that is a box that is one meter by one meter by, you know, one meter. 
So it's about this much water. And my friend knew that the density of water, density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. So she knew the weight of one cubic centimeter of water, it's one gram. She wanted to know the weight of a cubic meter of water. Furthermore, she didn't want it in grams or even kilograms, she wanted it in pounds. So our problem is to convert one gram per cubic centimeter to pounds per cubic meter. Uh, LB, symbol for pounds, pounds per cubic and we'll do this with fence posting. Step one, start with what we're given, one gram per cubic centimeter. One gram per cubic centimeter. Make sure you do this horizontally. Don't do diagonal slashes. One gram per cubic centimeter. Let's go from cubic centimeters to cubic meters because we just did that practice. Um, I'll write this over here. Pretending that we've forgotten what the conversion is, we know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. And we want cubic meters, so we're cubing both sides. So one cubic meter equals 100 cubed cubic centimeters, which is, let's do scientific notation. That's 1 times 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters. One cubic meter is 1 times 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters. So multiply by with a horizontal line, we have to put something on top that will cancel out cubic centimeters. So that, that's going to be cubic centimeters. So we put 1 times 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters over cubic meters. Cubic centimeter over cubic centimeters cancels out. And don't just do it in your head. Actually, cancel out with your pen. All right. Now we have grams per cubic meters. We're halfway there. We want pounds per cubic meters. Wish I had drawn these a little bit higher. There. We want pounds per cubic meters, so we have to convert grams to pounds. Uh, I don't know how many grams there are in a pound, but let's get to kilograms. I can do kilograms to pounds. I need to erase a little bit here. We know that one kilogram, kilo equals a thousand, so one kilogram equals a thousand grams. That's the conversion factor. Which one is going to cancel out grams? What goes on top? I'll pause while you think of the answer. Which one of these goes on top? One kilogram or one thousand grams? Which goes on top in order to get that to cancel? That's right, it's one kilogram. If we put one kilogram on top, and 1,000 grams on the bottom, grams over grams cancels. Now we have kilograms per cubic meter. We're almost there. We want pounds to cubic meter. And I know that one kilogram on Earth has a weight of 2.2 pounds. We put 2.2 pounds on top, one kilogram on the bottom, Therefore, kilograms over kilograms cancels out. We have pounds per cubic meter. We're done. Let's just get the final number. We have 10 to the 6 times 2.2. 2.2 times 10 to the 6 pounds on top, and 1,000 cubic meters on the bottom. Let's be slick and call 1,000 10 to the third. 10 to the 3 cubic meters on the bottom. 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the 3, if you remember your exponent rules in scientific notation, when you divide exponents, you subtract them. So that's not 6 over 3, it's 6 minus 3. That's 2.2 times 10 to the 6 minus 3, or 3 pounds per cubic meter. And that's our final answer. 2.2 times 10 to the 3, that is 2,200. 2,200 pounds per cubic meter. So when my friend did the calculation, she was surprised to learn that a cubic meter of water, which really isn't that much, 
weighs 2,200 pounds, and she had to get her deck slightly reinforced. That's like a car. That's a, it's like a light car, putting a light car on her deck. And she had to get it reinforced. Factor labeling saved her from a broken deck. Thanks for watching.